Hi E3 and 4, my name is Shine and this video will be all about rocks. There are three different types of rocks, but my main one today will be about igneous rocks. There are so many different types of igneous rocks. Basalt, gabbro, diorite, andesite, tuff, scoria, and the list just goes on. There are so many. But for now, I'll be talking about my favourite three. Number one, granite. This is the oldest igneous rocks to ever be formed. Number two, pumice, which is so light enough to float on water. And lastly, obsidian. This only forms near active volcanoes and have a very glossy appearance. But now let's get started on the cooking. So first we'll be making granite, which is a rocky road. Um, the ingredients you'll need will be melted chocolate, marshmallows, gummies and wafers. Mix them all in a bowl and start mixing. Granite has so many different colours and textures. This is why I use so many different lollies and chocolates. When you are done mixing, put them into a bigger bowl. Granite forms from magma under the earth's surface, protected under the earth. It forms really slowly, meaning bigger crystals will grow. We can see the crystals in the marshmallows. Leave it into a fridge for three hours. Three hours later. After three hours, it should come out like this. It should look like granite. This is the final product. So this next one is obsidian rocks. Obsidian rocks are only formed near active volcanoes and are mostly silicone. So what I got was opened a jelly packet, put it onto a plate. So obsidian rocks are very glossy and have a very shiny appearance. So basically I just started cutting it. The jelly made it really shiny and bright. So this is the final product after I started cutting it. So this next one is one of my favorites. It's pumice rock. Pumice rocks are yellow and they have air holes in them. They form near volcanoes and the ingredients you'll need for this will be sodium, sugar, and honey. I started melting the sugar and the honey together. Keep mixing until it should have like a golden yellow texture and start putting the sodium in and keep mixing. You should be prepared with a baking tray because after mixing it for like 10 seconds it should already be done. You don't want it to burn so you do it really quickly and start putting it into the baking tray. After you do this you should wait around in room temperature for 30 minutes to an hour and it should be ready like this. It tasted amazing and it looks exactly like pumice rocks. Once pumice hits water, it forms. Pumice forms very rapidly and quickly so that the gas bubbles get trapped in the rock. As the lava changes to a liquid to solid, the air bubbles get stuck and form. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Bye!